hi welcome to this lecture in this lecture i'm going to block the facial features so we have already starting to block it out so let's see how to block all those features in this lecture so i'm going to start with this eye and i need a little bit more polygons first so i'm going to this geometry here this geometry sub palette and let's go to dynamics here and you can see now i have 32 resolution which is a very low resolution so let's go to 64 i'm just doubling it you can put any value so now let's put 64 and in order to see the effect you can again turn on off this dynamics here with 64 you can see now i have a little bit more polygons you can click on this polyframe to see you can see now i have a little bit more polygons so the process is i'm going to gradually increase this know this resolution so i'm going to increase the resolution later so now this is 64 so let's sculpt some you know, facial features so i'm going to do the eye area so let's use the clay build up and i'm going to block the eye socket there and let's again control drag to you know regenerate the polygons you can do that so again hold shift to smooth areas and I basically I'm going to work on everywhere so I'm not going to stock in particular area so I'm going to close this image here so now I'm going to generally work on the nose no I'm using alt to push those things the nose holes nostrils okay just do that and let's go to damp standard here so let's go to damp standard brush press d damp standard and here i'm going to put some lines like this trying to get the basic shape and then let's put some line like this and let's soften it I'm now going to do the leaf roughly so I'm going to put a line there with damp standard so this is the center you now this leaf joint area and then hold alt with this damp standard to put the up line you know upper leaf crease line I can see the the actual shape of the leaf and then do the same thing with this bottom basically then let's put this center area a little bit more inside just roughly put a kind of opposite u here you can see and then smooth something like uh, this shape here you can see then let's change to move brush and try to get this square little square here you can see we had a pointed before so now i'm going to get that so let's look from the left side let's bring this lip up this nose side a bit and here you should see the you no know, cheekbone this area should come out this cheekbone should come here to this you no know, uh, this hole of the ear here so this is the bone it's going there like this and here there is a muscle called masseter so let's bring that muscle with clay or clay clay build up whatever use this and this muscle is connected with this area so little bit of anatomy knowledge is you no know, helpful for this kind of face sculpting and now i'm going to work on the eye area a bit so let's bring the eye area back so let's go to clay build up and try to make a kind of round circle like this kind of a closed eye effect Okay, something like this a basic 
indication i'm going to refine those later and let's work on the year a bit still i have a very low poly now so i cannot do the details yet so this is the basic process you cannot start with a high resolution and do the basic stuff that's not the process if you try to do that you'll find a lot of difficulties and here it should be the whole of the year this should connect here some somewhere and there is a kind of little save just roughly blocking out till i'm going to work on the year let's jump to damp standard bus here damp standard bus and let's create this you no know, upper eyebrow here so let's something like this on this part smooth this area so i'm going to define the lip corner a little bit so with damn standard so let's put a corner kind of you no know, a little bit kind of rounded effect and let's try to smooth that like this and so i'm going to put a little bit volume there so let's go to clay build up some volume here so these are very important stuff to create these you no know, secondary forms and then let's go to create this double chin effect so let's go to dance standard again and let's, let's put that effect there and smooth it so now i'm going to create the eyeball so let's go to sub tool here now you can see i have a single sub tool and i'm going to create the eyeball with a different sub tool sub tool is basically you can say single object this is and now i'm going to append here so let's append a polysphere so these are by default objects gbrush provide us so let's click here and now you can see it appends that gbrush to this sub tool area and let's select this g spear or uh, this spear here because this is not selected right now you can say that from this dark and bright color you can see the head is brighter than this spear so that means the head is selected so let's select this spear you can select this from here or you can select it by using alt and left click on it so now i'm going to use the gizmo let's select it and let's scale it so you can scale from the center scale it and now i cannot see that inside you can click on this transparent option here to see that you no know, eyeball here i'm going to scale it and put that eye here try to get the right scale and right position let's turn off now put at the right location somewhere here and i think this is perfect so let's select the head with alt left click and now i'm going to work on the eyes a bit so let's go to move brush Okay. and i don't have much resolution so i'm going to increase the resolution so let's go to dynamics here so inside geometry dynamics and this time i'm going to increase it to double again 128 again there is no rule to do this but i have a practice to you know, do that so now you can see i have a little bit more polygons to clear details so now i'm going to use the damp standard to draw the eye area so let's use the damp standard brush and let's draw the eye area so literally just draw the eye then you can again use the clay build up to push all these points inside we don't have the eyeball that side so i'm going to do that in a minute 
so now you can see let's control drag and again go back to dance standard with holding alt we can pull these vertices with dance standard dance standard has a very sharp no um, sharp concentration and see like this and let's push these areas basically trying to get you know get the basic eyelid things yeah so now i'm going to duplicate this eyeball so let's select it go to g plugin and go to subtool master go to mirror here and this set to merge into one subtool and x axis that is fine so let's click on ok okay now we duplicated that in the next lecture we are going to refine all these you no know, facial features the eyes nose leaf and the ear